Kubiaje. Ay, Vivi. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a girl blessing and the microphone. You guys, a lot is happening today. Today is Friday, 1st of October. Should I even be saying happy independence to you guys? Should I say happy independence to you guys? Um, I'm gonna take it back. I'm not happy, there's no independence going on here. But anyway, today is Friday and it's day for us in our family. My husband is um, a very robotic man. So this is what we do every other um, yeah, festival period. You understand those that are Igbo, you understand Iriji period. So this is what we do. I, I in Iriji by ourselves in our house. If you cannot make it to the village, then we do it in the house. So today, we have chosen to do it today. Lots of people are in the compound. Friends, family, neighbors, they are there in the compound. Not too much, but just little bits of people. And I am the chef, of course. I volunteer to cook. I always volunteer to cook. So I'm going to be making um, yam porridge. Normally we do yam porridge, roasted yam and masala. But today, I'm just going to be doing porridge yam and Insala. I'm not going to do no roasted yam, but I'll still do roasted yam for myself, but not today. Maybe tomorrow or some other time. But I didn't know that chicken is. Yeah, so we have our chicken here. Igbo, like local chicken, native chicken is here. And then we have our yams all over there. Because you can see, this is the yam and this is the chicken here. So I'm just going to prep it and start cooking. Wait a minute. Can you see what is going on? <laughs> so you guys, let me know if you celebrate Yam Festival in your house or you travel to celebrate Yam Festival. My husband is more of a boutique man. When I say boutique man, he's very intentional about his tradition or the things that he loves doing like not doing his roots and as an Igbo man Yam festival is really important to the Igbos so they don't even really joke I don't know about other tribe but I'm speaking for myself the Igbos they don't really joke with the Yam festival not everybody is actually interested in this but my husband like every year if he can make it to the village he's going to do it in the city and he must celebrate yam festival, like new yam festival. He must celebrate it. If not, he's not going to eat yam. Like since, okay, I think um, yam festival started on started on September, early September. Yeah. Ever since then, we've not tested yam. Like in this house, I'm not restricted from eating yam, but I've actually grew into it that if my husband don't eat the yam until he celebrates his yam festival, then why should we eat the yam? You know, you understand? So we've, like, I've grew into it and I'm trying to, you know, face my kids, although they're still little, but they're gonna learn, face my kids towards that so they don't forget their roots. Let me think, let me know what you think about yam festival. People say that it's actually diabolic, I don't know, but I think that what, that it depends on how you celebrate it in your heart or as how you celebrate it as a person it has to be you know all positive uh, positive ways people do go all out for young festival and don't do that uh, i'm just speaking for myself Sha. this is how we celebrate it it's either he travels to the village to celebrate it with you know uncles there over there in the village or we do it this way so yeah let me know what you think do you celebrate it in your house or do you travel for it or do you have a friend that has a friend that has a friend that celebrates yam festival let me know what to think and let, um, let me also know if you are enjoying this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up because i'm trying and you know i'm sick but i'm trying 
he's going to pay me share for my services i cannot be working for free <laughs> my motivation to do this is money 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 and my dollar <laughs> So it's going actually going to pay me anytime I do something like this for my husband, he always appreciates me. So it's going to pay me for this. So that is why I'm encouraged, I'm inspired to do it, despite the fact that I'm not feeling too well. So but yeah, that's it. If not, it's going to cook cook cooks, you know, people that cook for events to do it, and they're going to charge him way lot, you know. But since I'm doing it, it's going to be you know less expensive for him. So why can't I? And I love cooking for him because he always tells me that my foods are delicious. So why not? You guys, I think I'm just fine. Let me finish. Let me pawn this yam and get to it. I'm so tired. Look who we have here. Hi, baby. Say hi, baby. <laughs> Say hi. Say hi, my mom. This boy. Say hi. Say hi, people. He's not even paying attention to me. How rude. <laughs> Look at your mouth. Kiss, 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 kiss. Mwah. So this is the final product, you guys. My work here is done. I am done. It's looking good and it tastes even better. If you're hungry, please grab your plates. Grab your plate for some daily, daily cake, daily, daily cake. I let it boil some more, then it's done. There is a commotion. There is a commotion no, today that we are just celebrating and, and getting all happy. This my boy. This boy. You know how He went and enjoyed himself. Look at, like, honestly, I'm tired. I'm tired. I even forget that I was sick. I ran. I went to go and call his daddy downstairs. The, the whole of this place. Like it's blood from downstairs, from the steps down to up to here. I was just here. I'm trying to edit my video and came to the parlor. Mommy, my leg, my leg. I hit my leg. I said, No, oh, sorry. I didn't even pay attention. Ah, he came and sat here. Look at him here. He came and sat here and he was saying, My leg, my leg. I just turned. Oh, more. Look at blood. Oh, the whole chair was covered with blood. I used this uh, hanky to wipe it. Everywhere was filled with blood. I freaked out. My no, no, my children has never bled before. Honestly, I was I was shaking literally like a few minutes ago. It was his daddy when his daddy came up that he calmed me down and see yeah, God. Hey, this blood coming out of my baby's uh, body. Like what? Uh, what is this? But thank God, I clean. We cleaned it up and the blood. Uh, the the injury is not that much. But it bled a lot. But I just called the nurse and she's coming. So we we'll take him there once the nurse comes. The nurse lives by. So we we'll take him there once the nurse comes. So I'm going. Let me show you guys the floor. So if you are sensitive to blood, <laughs> please don't don't look at it though. So yeah. Look at this. Look at the whole floor. The whole chair everywhere was covered with blood. I just managed to wipe it. Look at. Look at the floor. Down to the stairs over there. Down to that stairs. The boy was bleeding from downstairs and then he, he managed to come bring himself up here. Eh? The whole chair. I just wiped it to it. I don't know if you guys can see this thing. Look at here. This is it. See the uh, the lines? This is it too. This is the lines. Look at here too. If you can see, this is the line where the blood was dripping down. The nurse, once the nurse flashes me, I take him down there and go and bandage his leg. I managed to um, tie a hanky around the foot so that it will start, it will stop bleeding. Something I learned from the movies. <laughs> so it's actually not bleeding anymore now. A few inches later.